Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Clara. I'm 94 years old. Today we are making some meals from the depression. Today we're going to make something that was very special to my father. Living in Tunis, Africa, they used to make this meal they called couscous. It was delicious. My father was born in Italy, but as a little boy they went to Tunis. And he lived there till he was a young man before he came to America. Tunis, Africa, yes. And they ate this a lot. My mother learned how to make it because my father loved it so much. If he came home and there was this meal, he had a big smile on his face. He loved it. <laughs> okay, shall we start? Cut the carrots. It's not only good tasting, but it's very healthful. It's got a lot of vegetables. I cut the carrots in little pieces. Now I'm cutting some parsley, celery, It used to take almost all day to cook and fix, but now they have the more modern way of making it. It doesn't take as long. My mother used to make it about once a year. It took all day. Now they have more convenient things. It's easier to make, but it's delicious. I still like it. My cousin called me. She says, guess what? They make couscous in a box now, and we don't have to go through all that rigmarole. So we were happy, my mother was too. But today we're gonna to make it the old fashioned way. It's a delicious meal and it's very healthful. Got all the vegetables. Now I'm cutting up the onion. There's a potato. I cut the potato. Now, did I cut the turnip? I don't remember. I'll put some in. I peel the turnip. I'm not using a peeler, I'm just using a plain knife. Everything is from scratch. We didn't have a peeler, we did everything by hand. Just like I'm doing now. I like the modern thing, yes. Can't take the knife out. <laughs> This is hard work. We put in two stalks of celery, put a half a potato, some parsley, two turnips, one half onion. Now we're gonna start the broth. I'm putting in some broth and then I'll put the rest water. Okay, it's on high. Cook the vegetables in the broth. We'll wait till this boil and we'll put the vegetables in. What reminded my dad of Africa was the cooking and the couscous. When my mother made couscous, my father was in his glory. <laughs> wow. When the broth boils, then you put in your vegetables. Stir it. Stir it and let it boil for a while. Turn the heat down to medium and let it cook for a while. When my dad was six years old, they moved to Tunis, Africa. And he lived there till he was a young man, until he came to America. He didn't want to go to school, so my grandma brought him to a blacksmith. And she says, teach him something and keep him here all day. She used to bring him every morning to this blacksmith and he stayed there all day for a penny a day. My grandma says, I don't care how much you pay him, just keep him here. <laughs> Take a fork in the vegetable and see if it's cooked. I checked it to see how cooked it is. It needs a little more. The fork goes in easy, it's, it's ready. But it's a little hard yet, so we'll let it boil a little longer. Now I'm going to put the, the cloth over it and put the couscous. The couscous got to cook with the steam. So we're going to do that now. 
put another damp cloth over it and it'll work, cook with the steam. Now I'm going to put the wet cloth over here and it's going to cook with the steam. The reason I put the second cloth is to keep the steam in. Now this is going to have to cook slowly with the steam. It'll be a while. I'm going to uncover it and see how it's coming and give it a little stir. Far from ready, so I give it a little stir and we'll let it boil some more. Check again in a little while. The pot looks like an Arab because the soup is boiling underneath and this couscous in a dish and cover it up with a, with a white cloth. It looks just like an Arab. <laughs> Be very careful when you open it because it's very hot. The couscous got bigger from the steam. So now put the butter in and melt the butter into this couscous. I'll stir it until the butter is all melted. No, no intentions at all of going to Africa. My father would have liked to have gone again, I think. My aunt went to visit the, the country after many years. She'd go visit some of the relatives that were still there. And she saw a tablecloth. And she says, that's not the one I said to you. She says, yeah, that's the one. She says, my mind didn't have all these dots. Those are the flies. <laughs> Put a little more hot water in here. It dried out, so we put three cups of water. Now we'll heat this up. My father didn't go to school, but he did a lot of reading. It was very smart. Back in those days, if you wanted to learn, you'd learn. And he learned a lot. And my mother was just the opposite. She was just in the kitchen, and that was it. But she was a good cook. Now we're going to put a little butter in the couscous. So now put the butter in and melt the butter into the couscous. The couscous grew. I'll stir it until the butter is all melted. Now I cover it. It'll be ready 45 minutes after that, ready to eat. My dad was a blacksmith until he came to America. Then he worked in the coal mine for a, a while and he thought it was too dangerous. One time there was a blast and he got caught in it. So my grandma says that's enough of that. So they moved to Chicago, and there he started working on construction. And he, and he worked there until he retired. Now, it, I think it's done. We're going to open it up and see. It is done. Now see how bigger it got? Now I'm going to take it out of here and put it in a dish. This is ready to eat. Perfect. It's a little hard, but when we put the sauce in it, it will soften. I think it looks good. This beauty is to make my dad smile, and it will make you smile, too. Salute. <laughs>I'm sure if you get one, you'll enjoy it. It teaches you a lot of recipes, very simple. It's easy, it's fast, and it's nourishing. And I'm sure the kids would like them. Pizza is one of my favorite foods. It's got everything, it's nourishing, and it's good for you, and I like it. Then you sit and rub the cook's back. <laughs>